How do you keep a strong masculine frame when things are not going well in your life? Well, that's where Jocko Willink's famous line of discipline equals freedom comes in because enthusiasm will get you only so far. And what I love about the beauty and the simplicity of discipline equals freedom is that by being disciplined, whether it's disciplined in how you eat, how you take care of your body, how you live your life, how you build your business, how you build your career, as a man, you've always got to be moving towards your purpose and mission in life. So you're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. Life is not all sunshine and roses. Some days life really sucks ass. And the last thing you want to do is get out of bed and go to work or do something that you don't want to have to do. But the grind continues. Nobody cares about your problems. Nobody cares about my problems. And they're glad that we have them. And success is the best kind of revenge. So that's why you want to spend your time, the days – weeks, months, years, and decades of your life doing things that you love and you enjoy as much as possible. Because the more you love and enjoy something, the better you're going to become at it. It takes time. All great things take at least a decade or more to really take off. And usually you're 15 years down the road before businesses do really well. Most businesses fail within the first five years, oftentimes because they're undercapitalized. And so every day you get up, you got to grind. As a man, it's like we all got problems. We all got to get up and the wrong side of the bed and we're like, I don't feel like working or doing this or that. It's like the most important question every human being should be asking is what must I get done today before I go to bed in order to move my life a little bit closer towards the things I want? But you just have to get it done no matter what. That's what Jocko means by Discipline equals freedom. You are always grinding. You're always on your grind, if you will, even when you don't feel like it, especially when you don't feel like it because you can be excited and pumped up and go to a Tony Robbins seminar and like, I'm going to take over the world. I'm going to do great. I'm going to build an empire. But at the end of the day, you're 10, 15 years down the road in most cases before things really start to take shape and start to do well. You got to think in terms of decades because like Tony says, Tony Robbins says, you, we tend to overestimate what we can do in a year, but we tend to underestimate what we can accomplish in a decade. And so great, all great things take time. I think the best thing you could do is start small because it's like you said, everything takes time. And if you drive yourself insane over trying to do everything all at once, like your motivation is just going to be even lower. Yeah, so you get overwhelmed at the size of the mountain and then you just give up. But it's like... One of the things that um, Michelangelo said when, after he finished his famous sculpt marble sculpture David, that's you know somewhere in Italy, it's this giant. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's this muscular dude that, I mean, it's a huge giant block of marble, and it's perfectly shaped, every tendon and muscle. It's like it's an incredible work of art. And so somebody was asking because obviously it took him several years to do to actually make this thing and chip away at it. And he and this admirer was saying like this is magnificent. He's like, how did you do this? And Michelangelo was like, hey, it was easy. David was already in the block of marble. I just chipped away the excess. And so anybody that's taken any art classes, like I, I remember I took an art class. It was actually in high school. And it was in part one of the things we did was called drawing on the right side of the brain. And so what we would do is we would take pictures. He says, we're going to draw these. And so he would hand them out. He's like, pick a picture out of the magazine, tear it out, and you're going to draw it. And so once he did that, he says, before we started drawing, this was like with pencil drawings, he says, now turn it upside down. And he says, I want you to draw the lines and the shading that you see. Ignore that it's a dog or that it's a cat or a car or whatever it happens to be. And draw the lines and draw the shading as you see it. And that's why you turn the image upside down because it teaches you to focus on that. And it was amazing how I was impressed by what I did in that class. And same thing with everybody else. It's just – and so when you look at an artist, that's kind of what he was talking about. I chipped away the excess. He knew that David was in there. He's like, what do I got to get rid of in order to really reveal what's there? And that, that's why life takes a long time. It took a long time to make the David. And 
yeah. everything takes a long time. And those those things that you do, I mean, maybe it's hard right now and you have to hold up um, and hold hold yourself together. But once you reach that goal or at the end of the race or whatever it is, then all those things that you had all that sorrow for comes full circle and you feel better. You feel more accomplished. Well, the other thing that Dale Carnegie talked about was inaction breeds fear and doubt and taking action breeds confidence and courage. And so if you're feeling anxious about your life and where you're going and like things aren't working out for you, you need to lose yourself in something that is productive. You don't want to just get busy organizing your sock drawer, which is important, but you want to be productive at doing things that are going to get you from where you are to where you want to be. That's why I said a great question to always be asking yourself every day is what do I got to get done today before I go to bed? And if you lose yourself in the activities of being productive, when you get done at the end of the night, you're going to feel really good about yourself because success is making progress. And by making progress and accomplishing things, you're going to feel successful. And if you feel successful, you're also going to feel happy. But that's why you sit around and you do nothing but worry. You're going to feel like crap. But if you lose yourself in the process of the things you need to do in order to be successful, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself and your life and you'll be productive. And eventually, you'll get there. I think the worry and the anxiety is also having to do with the fear of trial and error. Because like, I know a lot of people get scared over failing as well. And I think... Failure is a part of life. you got to get okay with it. you got to look forward to failure and what it's going to teach you so you can refine and improve your approach. And it's easier said than done, but I think a really good reminder when it comes to being scared of trial and error is that you're definitely not alone because I think most of us are scared of failing and, you know, having a moment of discouragement where, like, you've tried everything and it hasn't worked out. So I often try to remind myself that, too. I'm not the only one. There's some people that are able to keep a straight face when it comes to enduring failure and there's some people that can't but just because they don't show that and they keep the straight face doesn't mean they're not scared i guess they're just really good at handling it but that's literally the only way to be able to like do anything you have to kind of try you have to try it's better to try than to not because yeah, if not how are you going to know when you get busy you get into the present moment because you know when you want reality to be other than it is you're going to suffer and most of us spend time replaying stuff that's already happened or imagining how bad things are going to be in the future. And when you do that, you're not actually living in the present moment, which is the only moment that exists. And so when you lose yourself in the activities of th the things that are important, whether it's going to the gym or learning or working on your website or working on your book or working on your widget, whatever it is that you're making, you lose yourself being busy doing something productive. It makes you feel good. And you forget about all the fear. That's why the, the phrase inaction breeds fear and doubt. Meaning doing nothing makes you feel fearful, but taking action breeds confidence and courage because as you are productive and you get things done, you feel confident. And confidence is, comes from doing what you know how to do and doing it really well. So repetition is the mother of skill. The more you do something, the better you get at it.